I was friends um, with a buddy of mine when we were, we were 12 years old. He was into go-karting, his dad was into autocross. At that age, you know, can't own anything, you know, you don't have the money to customize anything, but we were always begging our parents to take us out to car shows and everything. Ever since then, it got stuck and it hasn't stopped. If you, if you go back in your life and pick one little moment and change it, how different would your life be? I never thought that I would meet people that literally like I wanted to keep in my life for the rest of my life, you know, through a truck. If I did not, if I did not go to that girl's house in December of my sophomore year, I wouldn't be. I literally would not be sitting in this seat, and it's just insane to think about. I'm Brandon Harden. I'm 24, and I drive a 2004 Ford F-150. I I had tried art. I tried drawing. I've always tried to find ways to like get my, you know, my thoughts and my expressions like out there, I guess. But like, this was just like a whole different way to do it. And it was attractive, like to me for some reason. It was, it was just a different way to get my style or like, you know, you know, how I view things like out there. I, I, I think that's why I did it. You know, if, if you had a house, you want to take care of it. Like, not really show it off, but like, you know, you go to meets to, to meet people, but also let them see that, you know, you're taking care of it and like, you put this together and it's, you know, it's pride. I think it's really just a, it's a makes you feel good kind of thing. I don't like the term like, I'm a car guy, I'm a truck guy or whatever. Like, I'm an, you know, I'm a truck enthusiast. Like I, I'm, I'm enthusiastic about taking care of my vehicle and that kind of thing. I think it just doesn't, resonate with some people. If someone doesn't understand it, it, it it's going to be really hard for a person to make them get it, like understand why we do what we do. My name is Andrew James Schmidt. I'm 19 years old. I drive a 2011 Honda Civic and a 1997 Chevy Astro van. You know, you see these cars, you see something that is even upgraded that could maybe drive fast or whatever, and it's not like everyone's going to get a test drive. I just find it very boring. As far as audio goes, I go to a show, the whole crowd follows the car around the parking lot till I park, and we just, what well, we call it demoing whenever we play it for, play the song for somebody. We'll demo for three hours straight and just I can't even tell you how many people will get in the car in one night. Not everyone has something that crazy. And you can break a windshield if it does get loud enough. No one knows what it's like to be Putting a smile on someone else's face when I play them the play the car for them, that's worth everything to me. It just it really means a lot. It's very different from your average car show. It just attracts more attention. Uh, what else is rewarding about it is when I go to shows, I, you know, getting a lot of attention. Everyone's got a smile on their face. They all congratulate you. It really just builds your confidence and gets you to come out of your you know, bubble a little bit, meet people. I, I can't tell you how many people I've met that I never would have met if it weren't for being involved in audio. I, I've people, friends from all over, all over sides of town that I just, I wouldn't go to. Um, it really just, you know, it, it gives you a good relationship with that person, something to connect on. And, you know, I'd say that's pretty rewarding. The friendships I've gained from it, I wouldn't give them up for anything. And they're all great people, you know. When you go, everyone's on the same team. Everyone's always trying to help each other improve and, and just better their life. 
also, well, you know, just trying to make sure everyone's, you know, getting good positive energy. You get lost in the music and you, you just forget about your everyday problems and you, you just really go enjoy yourself. Personal reasons of why I'm in audio, just it just helps me forget about other things that are going on in life. It just helps me calm down. I have a car stereo business where we build speaker boxes that are acoustically designed for your subwoofers and for future subwoofers you may get. I think I've learned more from running my own business than in any classroom. You know, I can do handiwork now with carpentry. I, I did the trim work around my enti uh, parents' entire house. That saved them a couple grand. And uh, I just know that in the future, whenever I have my own house and I want to do something, I, I can do it myself. So it's taught me a lot. I feel like because we're teenagers, sometimes people don't take us as seriously as they might if we were older, if we looked older. I do think that being teenagers affects their opinion of us, but I think that changes after they see what we can do and what we're capable of. As part of our advertisement, we put pictures of us on the postcards we sent out so people know what they're getting themselves into with teenagers. And that is kind of surprising to us how much people trust us, but I mean, we think they should. My name is Daniel Adams. I'm 18 years old and I detail cars. My name is Brooks Garrett. I'm 17 years old and I also detail cars. We own B&D Detailing and the idea behind detailing rather than just washing a car is that you focus on the details of the car, all the small parts, and how all of those small things come together as a whole to make the car look good. So really why detailing cars hit home to us is because we were already doing it with our cars. We already enjoyed it, we were already passionate about it. I became interested in cars when I was about 14 because I realized, oh man, um, I'm going to be in the market for cars in the next few years, so I better start learning about them and buy the right car. And, and I just be became engulfed in the car world and how it, how it was so awesome and so interesting. And so I really became interested in my car. I started taking care of it. I wanted to take care of it as opposed to like my room. I mean, if you don't love what you do, then you're going to go into work every day and hate your job and hate your life. But if you really love what you do, it not even work. And that really drives our business um, and really gives it a good foundation. I personally think the fact that we love cars is nothing but beneficial to the customers because then our love is getting put into the work we're doing because we want their car to look good. So we're not gonna slack off when I was doing it for the money. We're doing it because we love cars, we love clean cars, and we love creating clean cars. If people are just like, oh my gosh, what are they doing? They're There's a bunch of teenagers who think they know how to wash a car. Yeah. Anybody can do that. They're way too much for it too. That motivates us to work better and actually show people that they are wrong and that we could we do a great job but those people don't realize exactly what we're doing they think we're just like one of those sorry to call y'all out but like volleyball um like like clubs they go out and say like a fundraising idea for school they go five dollars a car wash and then they just spray it off with a hose and wipe it down with not some what we sponges. do not at that's all that's not what we do at all we are very <laughs> meticulous and we go inside and out of the car and we get as much as we can see and as much as we can reach um, to clean. I wouldn't say that we've ever had any doubts in ourselves as like a business or a company. If anything, we just may have decided not to try and get bigger, but I wouldn't say we ever felt down or like we were failing or anything like that. We've just 
slowly grow and we decided to make the move to get bigger, but we've never felt as if it was going downhill or that we didn't enjoy it. That's why we're doing so well is because we love what we're doing. It's all part of showing people that we are serious about this. It's not just like family and friends. We put postcards in people's mailboxes and to try to get drum up business. And we've actually got pretty good hit from that. Another um, catalyst would be Snapchat. We put whatever car we're doing on our Snapchat stories and people are just like, what are you, why are you doing that car? They're just like, they're paying us. And they're just like, can you do mine? If you're doing this car washing business, do mine. And that's kind of uh, been the reason for why we have like at least 10 people interested and ready to make an appointment. We have a waiting list. Of course, we'll always have the detailing experience that we can use in the future on our own cars, on mm -hmm. our friends' cars, whether or not we pursue detailing as a future at all, really. Yeah, we could even but just do it as a side job later in life. It's very good experience business-wise and just detailing-wise. And even if it's not detailing that we pursue in the future, we possibly see ourselves working as a team with business after college. But yeah, we're probably only going to do it until the end of this summer and then we're gonna break off pretty much, which will be sad because it's been awesome doing this, but um, we'll take very valued experience from it. I don't think it'll ever die, especially if I keep the same people around. Like. I think if I surrounded myself with a different group of people, I, I would feel left out. It's become like a little family, like in terms of just we all see eye to eye. This is like, like I said, like a little subculture, like a little family, like we all get it. And like, I don't, I don't see myself ever growing out of it. It literally makes me like that happy. And I'm, it's a social thing. Like it's, you know, I didn't just build a truck to park it in front of the apartment. Like we go places, we go meet more people that have done the same thing. Like I think, that's the most appealing part of it to me.